Well, hello there, Mission Control. Continuing the uh, marathon night of work here. And, uh, you know, what would a real Martian challenge be if we didn't have potatoes in the ground, right? So yesterday I was out here, uh, no, not yesterday, boy, what was it? It was uh, three days ago, four days ago. Mrs. Martian surprised me. I came home from work and she was out here and she had planted all of the plant starts for the Real Martian Challenge. Let me show you that. So babe, what are you doing? I am planting starts for the Real Martian Challenge. What kind of stuff are you planting? Well, we purchased all of our microgreen seeds from High Mowing Organic Seeds. So I contacted them and they gave me a list of seeds that are perfect for aquaponics. So I'm planting lettuces and arugula and radicchio and kale. A lot of stuff, yeah. And then Mr. Martian has a whole slew of other things that he's planting. I got the really cool stuff. Got some medicinals there. Got a whole bunch of spices. Got some beans and watermelon and cantaloupe, cauliflower, broccoli, sweet corn, onions. It's gonna be pretty awesome. So, we got a lot of plants that are over in the starter containers right now. Looks like they're nice and warm. Things look to be pretty good over there. And uh, I was gonna plant the potatoes the same day that we got those all planted, but I read that you're supposed to cut your potatoes up. So we got sea potatoes, organic sea potatoes sent to us. And you're supposed to cut them up and then you're supposed to let them cure. Uh, so that they get kind of this hard crustiness on them here. They look kind of funky though. I don't know if this is right, but this is what the instructions said. So we let them sit out just a few days here in the sun. Nice, nice beautiful sun coming down on it. And I can see the iodine kind of there, but uh, they got nice and crusty. So we got some Yukon gold potatoes here, and we got some just good old fashioned red potatoes here. These are all kind of a smaller variety which I personally think is going to work in our system. So uh, I need to plant these and I'm gonna plant them into this bed right here. So let's get to planting. That ain't gonna work, my mic's not even up here. Oh man, I'm having a tough night. Okay, well, I just got the whole bed planted. I followed the instructions, which I normally don't do. Oops. How about a mic? How about I drop the mic? Drop the mic. Let me check here. It's on. All right, I just got done planting the entire bed with potatoes. So this is lane three, bed one and it's all potatoes. So Yukon Gold's up front and the red one's in the back. Uh, 
All my beds look like they need to be leveled a little bit, so I'm gonna have to add that to the to-do list. That'll help with drainage, but um, the bed is on a five minute run time right now, which means basically uh, five gallons of water get added to it every, uh, roughly every hour. And the, the rocks down below are nice and moist. They're not soaking wet, except for where I can tell the bed is unleveled and there's some water down there. But the potatoes are sitting at a nice little moist area. Uh, I, I would say kind of perfectly moist, I think, where evaporation is occurring and the, it's condensing on the rock. So it's a nice little environment for it. So I'm very hopeful uh, for the environment. The rock, you can move it out of the way. Um, certainly, if all this fails, we can have people pay us to come up here and shove their hands in the rock and get a beautiful manicure. Uh, always good, it's a feature. Uh, so the lava rock is pretty light and we last year we grew a carrot in the lava rock and um, that's important because most root, root vegetables they don't suggest you put them into aquaponics because they have to push so much out of the way but these potatoes are actually you know by their nature pretty small but they clump up nicely so i think we should see them pushing the rock out of the way similar to the carrot did because the lava rock is so light that's part of what i wanted to see i, I haven't seen anyone I haven't been able to find it. That doesn't mean it hasn't happened. I just hasn't found it where someone's actually grown potatoes aquaponically in lava rock. Um, peat gravel and all that other stuff, that's really dense, really small, packs together hard. It has to push a lot out. I'm not sure that would work, but I think lava rock might. So I'm pretty excited about that. I am concerned about the fact that I did follow the instructions uh, and it said to you know cut everything up so you have an eye uh, on each of the, the pieces and then let it sit out in the sun for a few days. But when I did that, man oh man, you could see the iodine coming out of it. Um, and they did dry up, they got a little crust on them. They just didn't look very good. Um, so I'm a little worried about that. Maybe we lost our potatoes before it even started. Um, but I followed the instructions, so hopefully that's not the case. We have a lot of stuff to still go. Alicia got all the uh, herbs and the medicinal plants started uh, so i'm looking at my little map here it tells me where everything goes in the building and uh, right now we we're barely filling the whole building but lane two or sorry lane four bed one is going to have oregano thyme sage chives cilantro and parsley in it uh, lane four bed two is going to have basil garlic some echinacea some chamomile and some lavender in it Bed four is going to have some sweet corn in it. I'm really excited about that. That's going to be cool. And bed three will also have sweet corn in it. So that, that's going to be pretty nice. Bed three and four. And then we have potatoes here, microgreens up top. We're going to do onions, carrots, green onions in the next bed. We're going to do watermelon and cantaloupe in the bed down there. And the very end will be um, strawberries. And then we have green beans. Uh, broccoli, cauliflower, and at the very end we'll have kiwi, and then we have kale, Swiss chard, and a whole bunch of lettuces all, all over on lane one where it doesn't get as much light uh, since they're leafy vegetables. They don't need that much light, but uh, I'll be under, under artificial light. So uh, I guess this is it. We're officially headed towards the Real Martian Challenge. Um, I'm, 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 I'm hopeful, but I'm optimistic. I'm cautiously optimistic here that this is all going to work. Um, certainly people have grown things before, so I think really it's just a matter of us learning how to grow everything, uh, keep track of it. I, I guess according to the numbers, in about six weeks we should see sprouts coming up. So today is uh, February, what is today, Fe February 11th? I don't have my watch on. February 11th, I believe. Um, so six weeks from now, uh, we should see something coming up out of this bed. We'll have to keep an eye on it, and uh, it's the best we can do right now. Hope and pray, hope and pray. So prayers appreciated that uh, we get the potatoes up and running in this bed. Give me something at a minimum, Vicodin and potatoes, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian.